Hello and welcome to Finextra TV. I'm Hannah Wallace and we're here at Finextra's Open Banking Developer Conference, Fusion One. Joining me now is Martin Herring, CMO of Finextra, and we're going to be talking a little bit more about the conference. But firstly, can you tell us the thought behind the name, Fusion One? Well, there's a one inside the name and every good business starts with one dream, one vision. And ours was two years ago to develop an open platform that can empower and unlock the potential of people, businesses and communities out there. We want to create the number one open platform for finance in the world. So we thought a lot of ones that it's easy to plug that in the name of the conference. Can you tell us a little bit about sort of the thought behind the event and sort of the um, sure, motive? Sure, sure. Well, this event is a key milestone for Finastra. We have worked really hard in the last two years together with Microsoft to build an open platform for collaboration and innovation in the world of finance. And what we have done is we have opened up all of our product in total right now, 11 core systems in the background to the outside world, to the fintechs, to the banks, to system integrators, mm -hmm. to schools, to academic institutions, to let them innovate on top of our core banking backend system. And therefore, this whole event is, is five days in a row and it started just last weekend with two exciting hackathons going over 48 hours uh, with 25 teams, uh, 14 internal teams, 11 external teams, and the innovation they have shown was just uh, mind-blowing. It was really exciting. Uh, and then just yesterday we finished our business day where 400 business leaders came to the conference really to think about not about the technology but what the technology can enable in terms of new business opportunities in various uh, angles. And today is the day where more than 300 people joining us today is from the developer audience and, and really going into the core of the platform. The how do you build uh, applications? How do you get onboarded? We have uh, today announced uh, Fusion Create, which is our developer program. Uh, and people are really excited because one thing is important for developer, uh, there shouldn't be any hurdle of entry and shouldn't be any hurdle of exit out of the platform. Mm -hmm. And the platform is for free, so sure. wonderful day for us. Not a bad deal. Uh, and picking up on that topic of you know, innovation, um, there's been a lot of discussion on the panels but also the breakouts about barriers to innovation in financial services. Um, so could you highlight what some of those barriers are and what Fusion Fabric is doing to resolve those problems? Sure. Um, maybe let's take the bank area first. Uh, when you look into the bank, uh, the culture that a bank has is not up for real speed. The speed to innovation, the speed to market, to create new product, this is really, really hard for a bank. So they want to collaborate with fintechs outside to accelerate that kind of innovation. But uh, is this just a one-to-one -one relation between a bank and a fintech? Uh, maybe, but the fintech, they want to approach a larger ecosystem. So they don't want just to work with one bank, they want to work with many banks. And our platform allows them to scale out. And for the bank, our platform allows also a speedier uh, development of applications. Instead of maybe having a year turnover cycle for a new application, we have shown here that we, you can create an app in five minutes. Impressive. Now, when you go to the fintech side, uh, their advantage is, first of all, they want a platform which is, as I said, for free. Sure. They don't want to pay for that. Uh, they don't have the money, right? A lot of these fintechs are uh, uh, in private equity ownership, and they don't want to spend money for data center infrastructure and for the solution. They have just a smart idea, and then they want to program. Um, and therefore, for them, this uh, platform is extremely attractive. Now, you've mentioned one announcement already, but there's been a few, hasn't there? Could you uh, run us through them? Uh, absolutely. Uh, the, the first announcement was, of course, the, the winner of the hackathon, all that hard work, uh, as I said. Uh, the second one was really the announcement of the close collaboration between Microsoft and us. Mm -hmm. uh, these two companies have really joined at the hip, uh, and we have shown here, for example, the collaboration between Microsoft Dynamics and our loan servicing and origination system. So we brought two ecosystems together from the CRM world and the financial world. So we connected uh, these two worlds uh, and we call it this connected experience because for a relationship manager in a bank, this is a tremendous uh, advantage when they can submit loan origination requests right out of the CRM system. Uh, so that kind of collaboration, this, this was a, a big one. And finally, we have announced a, a little thin layer that banks can use uh, to be PSD2 compliant. 
So again, fintechs can easily access back end infrastructure from banks uh, through that middle layer. I'm sure there's some exciting developments to look forward to in the future then as well. Absolutely. What uh, the response was from the audience, gosh, uh, the, the limit is the sky, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I was so inspired by all the innovation that we have shown here that people walked away and said, well, if I really want to develop on a platform, probably Microsoft, uh, Finastra, mm -hmm. and a third partner that we featured here, Accenture. If these three guys are, are not lifting the platform off the ground and creating the number one open platform financial services, who else can do that? Mm -hmm. So really pretty exciting and a big milestone, as I said, for Finastra. So watch this space. Absolutely. Martin, I'll let you get back out there. Thank you so much. <laughs> it was a pleasure. Thanks, Hannah.